Senate voting on 11 amendments as Schumer vows to get bill to Biden's desk tonight. The Senate has begun a race to pass a bipartisan agreement to raise the $31.4 trillion U.S. debt ceiling, forged by President Joe Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy after the deal survived a Republican rebellion in the House of Representatives. The bill, which will also implement new federal spending cuts, cleared the chamber with 314 votes in favor of the legislation on Wednesday night. The Senate is now voting on 11 amendments to the House bill, none of which are expected to pass. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has vowed to get the bill to President Biden's desk tonight. The narrowness of its passage from the House committee, which saw two Republicans break ranks to oppose it, underscored the need for Democrats to help it pass the lower chamber, where Republicans hold a slim majority of 222 to 213. After 29 Republicans voted against the rules bill, Democratic lawmakers stepped in and added their votes to ensure that hurdle was also passed. Full congressional approval is required before Monday, June 5, when the Treasury Department could run out of funds to pay its debts for the first time in American history. While the legislation imposes new work requirements for able-bodied adults, it also exempts people who are experiencing homelessness, veterans and people between the ages of 18 and 24 who aged out of the foster care system from such requirements. The Congressional Budget Office estimated that when the work requirements and new exclusions are in effect, approximately 78,000 people would gain benefits in an average month, between the 2025-2030 period.